Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the description, I will be creating a Medusa Halloween tutorial today. I'm starting off with applying the Makeup Forever foundation, mainly because this foundation is really light on me right now. And I want to lighten my skin a bit so that the snake scales stand out and just create that like stone look on my skin. Then I'm applying some of this white face paint and putting it on the highlights of my face. I got this at Target so it isn't anything fancy but it did do the trick. And then I'm just blending that out with a sponge. I'm sorry this entire part was filmed out of focus. Next, I'm going in with this eyeshadow magnet from Solange Cosmetics. I love using this because it really makes the eyeshadow color pop. I love using it for Halloween looks, so you're just going to want to apply this all over the lid and then up into your brow area as well. First, I'm going in to this light lime green color. This one is a, from a random NARS palette that I have, but any lime green color works. And you're going to want to apply that onto the crease. This is going to be our transition shade. Then I'm switching to a flatter brush just to be more precise. And I'm still using the same exact color. Now I'm taking this darker green and I'm blending that on top of where we just applied the lime green and just sort of starting to build up that color. It's important to switch brushes to create different dimensions so I'm using this fluffy blending brush now. Now I'm just darkening the area with a dark forest green focusing mainly on the crease. Then I took a pointier blending brush and I'm applying a light hand of the black color and this is just to like really cut out and darken the crease. I'm taking the Natasha Denona Cream Chroma Eyeshadow in the shade Sienna and cutting my crease with it. You can use glitter if you'd like for this but I just find it easier to use the cream eyeshadows. I'm cleaning up the edges with um, some black eyeshadow and I'm just doing that to just kind of clean up everything and then I'm just going to blend that all out. I'm applying some falsies. These are from Morphe in the style Malibu. I actually really like Morphe lashes and think they're super underrated. They're so cute and they're only $4. I'm applying some mascara as well, and I'm also applying that to my lower lash line. I'm taking some setting powder and just setting my under eyes just so that the paint doesn't start looking all dry and cracky later. And for my lower lash line, I'm basically using the same colors I used in the crease. First is lime green color, then the dark forest green. I'm taking some gel liner and applying it to my lower lash line just to intensify the look and kind of make it a little bit smoky. All right, now onto the scales. I took a fishnet and I put it over my head and you're gonna wanna do this to pack on the eyeshadow. I'm starting again from lightest to darkest. You're going to really wanna pack that eyeshadow on. I found that this dense powder brush worked really well. Then I'm using a stippling brush and I'm applying some green face paint over it. Then with the Natasha Denona Chroma Eyeshadow, again, I'm going in and I'm adding a bit of gold. I'm doing the same process to the side of my face as well. I didn't apply the green paint. Um, instead, I used a darker eyeshadow because I didn't want the sides to be so bold. I'm applying some highlight just so I look a little glowy, but this is totally not necessary. For my lips, I'm using some black gel liner because I don't have any black lipstick. And then I'm just using some concealer to clean up the edges. And then I threw on this snake crown I found on Amazon for like six bucks. And that's the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.